for you to win? Oh, man, it felt better than two days ago <laughs> when you end up that way. That was a huge game again, incredible game. Both teams played very well. I was got a good start. We have bad first half. I don't know what happened, but we got a good wake-up call. Like some guy talked in the locker room. Half time, more guy from worse for us. Like a wake-up call, and we just keep fighting. We keep fighting, and that was a huge win. We never, never give up, and we get back. And I mean, Wes did a great job in defense. They let me big shot, which I all make a good play. So that was a huge win for us tonight. How emotional are these games for you guys on the court? And, and I mean, how taxing physically are they for you? I mean, that's the NBA. I mean, that's the NBA, and that's the, the playoff. I mean, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. When you are there, you're playing. That's what we're playing for. To, that, to play those games. That's what we dream. When you dream, when you kid, watching the NBA, you play, watch those games. You want to be in the court during those games. And yeah, we have a lot of fun. I think both teams are having fun right now. Well, we have more fun than them. We don't have that of fun after the game two nights ago, but no, we just try to go out there, compete, and we try to get the next game. How were you guys able to keep battling? I mean, they were up by double digits. You guys kept fighting and then to, to pull it out in the overtime. What was the key? No, we knew if we if we lose if we lost that game, that would be, be in bad shape. Now we go back to Houston 2-2. Two, two. We lost the uncool advantage. So that was huge. Now we, we go out there with 3-1, up 3-1. So now pressure on them. So we're good now. You know it's going to be tough to close them out, though. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be tough. I mean, it's going to be tough anyway, though. Know. You certainly still a great team. No, Tokyo has sent it to a tough place to play. So it's going to be a great battle again. Not again. <laughs> I'm too tired to go another overtime. So, so uh, yeah, when they make, like, miss both, make both free throw, maybe they make both, both free throw up three, I'm like, we gotta get a stop. I don't go back in overtime. Can you talk about <laughs> offense, uh, driving the, the pain a lot when you guys went small and you get a lot of baskets off the dribble, mixing it up? No. Yeah, no. I gotta be more aggressive. No. People like talk to me like I gotta be more aggressive. I gotta be less passive on the court. And I just try to take the ball sometimes and drive. I know what I have to do. I know who I am. And, and my teammates just keep talking to me. Like guy like D. Wright, guy like Earl Watson told me like sometimes gotta take over. That's like the next five minutes, that's you. You gotta take the ball and go. So you now they trust me, they got a lot of confidence in me, so I just started to play my game. Did you feel like you did that tonight? I mean there's a couple of situations plus the big three legs. Yeah, I mean at the end the coach showed me like take the ball and, and get picking up pretty more with LA, try to create something. So when the coach told you that and damn say Nick, go get the ball in overtime. I mean that mean that gives you a lot of confidence because they trust you. So that was huge for me.